Hi guys, it's the orthodontist here, and why are elastics so important with orthodontics? So you may have braces, you may not do, but you've probably seen these little elastics uh, that some people have connected between the braces. Let's talk you through why they're so important. So, first one is a class 2 type of bite, okay, and this is when the top set of teeth sit a lot further forward than the bottom set of teeth, okay, and this can be as a result of the jaw discrepancy, or it might just be that the top teeth are, are, are sort of protruding forwards more than the bottom ones. And so the elastics connect between the top front sort of set of teeth, as you can see here, to the bottom back teeth. And what this does is it encourages your bottom set of teeth to move further forwards and your top set of teeth to move further backwards. Uh, and the idea is, is that we can then try and shuffle your bite into this really nicely fitting bite where your side teeth all come together like this sort of jigsaw puzzle that you can see in the in the video the next set of elastics is a class 3 set of elastics which is when you have the bottom jaw sitting further ahead of your top jaw and in this scenario we want to try and move the bottom set of teeth backwards and the top ones slightly forward so we're we're putting it on the top back teeth connecting it up to the bottom front set of teeth and you can see the small hook there uh, and this will have the effect of bringing the bite together uh, one must be careful not to overdo it which can happen uh, if it's not being closely monitored with your orthodontist and you can just see the effect of that there creating a large space between the top and bottom front teeth which would then need correction again that takes me through onto what we call an anterior open bite. Okay, an anterior open bite is when you have a gap between the front teeth. Uh, and this can be quite a challenge to close, but one thing we can use is the anterior box elastic. Okay, and an anterior box elastic connects the front set of teeth up between four corners. And what it does is it encourages the front teeth to come closer together. It can be quite tricky to put on and sometimes you may find that the elastic then starts to rest over part of your gum. If this happens, the best way to, to prevent that from sitting over your gum is just to, to release that part of your elastic or, or try and flip it over your actual brace. So you move the elastic down over the brackets of your brace so that it then no longer sits over your gum line. Okay, you can see in the video here that it actually is sitting over your gum line, but you can flip it over so that it just hides underneath the edge of your brackets with your top or your bottom set of teeth. But the key is, is that it connects those four corner points. The next one is what we call a lateral open bite. Okay, this is an open bite on the side of the mouth. Okay, and this can happen on one side or it can happen on both sides. And what we use here is something called a lateral box elastic. Okay. So we use a, a, a lateral box elastic here, which again connects between four corners and it just allows the bite just to sit together a bit more comfortably and for the teeth to meet up. I hope that helps. Thanks very much.